Hey everyone, Dr. Jason West, live at five, five health tips at five o'clock on our live stream, which is going out to Facebook and to YouTube. And we're going to talk today about body control. And it's not just me saying that, I'm so excited to share with you guys the story of Nate and Lily. And I had so underrated about what you can do for your body to give it control. So we talk about this a lot of how to get people healthy. We wrote a book about it called The Hidden Secrets to Curing Your Chronic Disease. It's something that uh, if we give it to our patients when they come into the office or you can get it at drwest.info. Um, there's a, I mean, literally it's just the printing costs um, that you can have for the book. So drwest.info if you're interested. And here's this exciting thing. Like you are going to see exactly what happens when you take someone that is out of control, that's lost something, and now they're in control. And what do I mean by that? Because so many times people come into the office and they'll say, my shoulder hurts, I need to do something about it. But really what they're saying is, I can't use my shoulder, I can't lay on that side, I can't throw a baseball, I can't hug my wife, or I can't lift up my grandchildren, or I can't uh, hug my husband, or what, I mean, whatever it is, and what people are asking for is to give them control. And in a minute, you're gonna meet Nate and Lily. Lily came to the office almost a year and a half ago, a train wreck. And what's happened, she's like, I'm exhausted, my joints hurt, I can't function. The medical treatment was, hey, let's just give you a happy pill. Let's just, just give you an antidepressant. She's like, but I don't feel good. And then when she came into the office, what we were talking about is I said, look, you gotta get some control in your system. And she's like, what do you mean by that? And I'm like, look, I know this sounds simplistic, but this is the rules literally for anybody with a chronic health care condition. Like if you're listening to this, or if you decide to share this or post it or whatever, like there's gold in this of doing some things that'll really help your physiology and it helps nearly everything. And it's putting some parameters inside of your health and you getting you to feel better. And so what is it? It's literally going to bed at the same time getting up at the same time, eating healthy and alive foods at the same time, and bodies crave order, your, your mind craves order. That's one of the reasons why people like to have a little checklist, they do a, a list, and then they're like, hey, I got this done, I got this done, I got this done. It's like a little mini jolt of, of getting something improved, it's, it's closing the commitment cycle, and when people have lost their health, they've lost control. And so this is so fun to, uh, to share with you this testimonial. If you're just joining us, it's Hidden Secrets to Curing Chronic Disease. This is what's in the book. So I wrote a book about barriers to healing, the treatments you haven't heard about. There's a whole bunch of patient testimonials in here. And we're gonna share one with you in just a minute of how to get your health back on track. And it's so underrated. And Lily fought me pretty hard on this. I said, hey, you need to get some control in your life. And she's like, well, I, you know, I go to bed when I'm tired. And I get up when I'm time to get up and it's all over the place. And I'm like, yes, we're just feeding your body disorganization. And let me tell you guys something about the heart. The heart's the most important organ in the body or important muscle. It's the first muscle that shows nutritional stress or inadequacy. It shows hormone imbalance. It shows the stress from the adrenals and the thyroid not working, but it's also the first organ in the body that shows a response to nutritional healing or nu nutritional recommendations. And when people's hearts aren't tuned up, and, and there's a whole bunch of ways that people manifest that self. They can have atrial fibrillation, they can have a racing heart, they can have postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, which we call POTS. And then the medical treatments, a lot of times, they say, hey, let's just put you on a beta blocker or an ACE inhibitor, let's put you on a blood pressure med. But what's happening is, is you're out of control. And so with Lily, when she's like, hey, my heart's all over the place, I said, let's put some order in there. Like, let's put, get your body to go to bed at the same time. And she's like, what time is that? And I'm like, look, the literature is showing that out, the sleep before midnight is almost worth twice as much after midnight. And people will fight me down on that and say, well, you know, I'm just a night owl. Okay, well, okay, like, I'm, I'm not saying that this is the only way to get healthy. I'm just saying I've seen it happen on hundreds and hundreds of patients. I'm excited to share this story. So if you're just joining us, it's Hidden Secrets of Curing Your Chronic Disease, how order is so important for the body. 
Um, Lily had a chronic uh, infection that was making it so her joints didn't work. Um, and she just recently got married when we started working with her, and so her husband's there along with it. And so I'm excited to share this with the story. It comes right out of the book, uh, Hidden Secrets to Curing Your Chronic Disease. If you want a book, you can get a hold of the office, or even better, just go to the website, drwest.info. And then we're also going to talk about how if you just cover the basics, which is good food, good sleep, uh, good oxygen, a place for your emotions. I like uh, this and the building blocks, which we're going to do some really neat things with this. There's a big discount if you want something that has all your vitamins in it. We can talk about that. But let me introduce you to Lily and Nate and see you taking someone that was literally out of hope, been to a whole bunch of different doctors, and now she's like 180 degrees different. It's awesome. You guys check this out. Hey everyone, it's Dr. J and Lily and Nate here talking about some experience and stuff in the office. And as Lily was telling me her story, I'm like, this would be awesome to share with other people to give them some hope on chronic health problems because so many times people are like round pegs that we're trying to stuff in square holes in the medical system. That was kind of Lily's story. So Lily, we've been, uh, we've hooked up how long ago? Um, a year ago. Which just over me? a year ago. Yeah. Okay, so just, just about a year ago. And you originally came in and the presentation, like how did you feel? Not your diagnosis, but how did you feel when you came in? Um, I was tired constantly. Like, didn't matter how much sleep I got. It didn't matter what I did. I, nothing would help that. I had severe joint pain. I um, was constantly dealing with some kind of wrist pain or back pain had terrible, terrible stomach issues. I basically couldn't eat anything without having some sort of stomach upset. And um, it got to the point where the, the last couple weeks before I came to the clinic, I hardly ate anything because it was just too upsetting um, for my body. Okay, so Nate, when you guys came in, you're, you're engaged. You're spending a lot of time with her. Your observation of how Lily was when you first started treatment was what? Very similar to my brother, Wes, who you've helped out. He has Lyme disease as well. And like it was, yeah, just super similar to his experience. So bad stomach, pain somewhere all the time, a lot of time in your wrist, not able to like recover from like, usually when people go to bed and they wake up, they feel like I'm a little bit refreshed, but you would wake up and you're like, no, I can just sleep all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> emotionally, like and, and super highs and super lows all the time. Brain fog. So Lily, with that being said, the medical uh, diagnosis before I started work with you, I, I know one thing is, is they're like, oh, it's, it's in your head, let's just give you a happy pill. So mm -hmm. they gave you some antidepressants and stuff like this, which you're gonna talk about, but was there a medical diagnosis besides depression when you first came in? No, uh, depression and anxiety, and th that was it. I had never received any kind of um, diagnosis or end all or anything to, give me any kind of answers really to right. my so symptoms. there was no like diagnosis and there was no plan either other than here take this antidepressant and you're gonna be fine yeah no my mom and I for the last you know several years we had gone to doctors for for specific symptoms that I had been having but we never could find something that tied it all together and um, it just was really frustrating to feel like that all right now we connected because I was taking care of Nate's brother that had some similar conditions and we started you know, 15 months ago or 18 months ago. So that was two, beginning of 2019 and uh, the diagnosis that we gave you was what? Lyme disease. So we have Lyme disease. Now Lyme disease is the great imitator. It's a bacteria that literally attaches the weakest link. I mean, there's a really neat paper in the British Journal of Medical Practitioners that says Lyme disease can cause neuro behavior, neuro degeneration, psychiatric, autoimmune, fatiguing illness. Like if it just, and you put 40 people into a room and there's gonna be 40 different conditions. Some people are gonna have muscle pain, a um, lot of emotional components. Almost all people have a rough stomach or they just can't really get stuff into their system. And then we outlined a treatment program and, and tell me a little bit about what was in the program. So um, Dr. J had outlined a, a very strict program for a couple months of um, IV treatment, red light therapy, um, emotional therapies, RTMS, um, some acupuncture. We had done detoxes. We had done neural therapy. That was a huge thing in the program. And 
Um, it was just very, um, like all over the place and it just helped everything. So, and, and then we had a whole bunch, like we did some work, but you did a ton of work too. Like, I'm, and I'm really proud of you for doing that because we took you from not being structured to some structure mm -hmm. and it was kind of rough <laughs> to get there. But when I say that to people, tell everybody what that means. Like when we gave you structure, what did you have to do on your side to line up for the treatments? Um, I had to put myself on a very strict schedule for um, home life. When I left the clinic, I had to um, be eating a certain way and at certain times during the day, I had to be taking supplements. Um, and the biggest thing for me was my, my bedtime. I had to go to bed before uh, around 10 every single night, which was a huge sacrifice for me because I loved staying up late that as someone with Lyme I've learned that they like to usually stay up really late and I think it's just because our sleep is terrible and um and I couldn't fall asleep quickly and it was something that I had to really really train my body to do it took a lot of time and um energy to get myself to a place where I could fall asleep at, at a reasonable time and and get up at a certain time now Nate chime in here because you and I talked about this and it's it's when people have a schedule they respond better. So she's saying this really strict thing. I almost feel like I put her in prison. <laughs> no. I didn't do it all. Like I just said, no, I, I want you to go to bed. Yeah. I want you to go to bed at the same time. I want you to get up at the same time. And I want you to eat consistently. You know, yeah. to, to Lily, she's like, oh my gosh, that's so much structure. <laughs> but Nate really helped. So like, I wanted to give props to Nate and Lily because when you help, how, when you want to put control back for people. So what, when Lily came in, this is what she was telling me. I've lost my health and I'm out of control and I want it back. You know, she didn't say that in those words, but that's what the message is of I've lost, I've lost control. So when we started to put control in, we had all of this like, like years and years of being like, well, I'll go to sleep when I'm tired and I stay up all night. And, and with Lyme disease, it's so common for people to turn into vampires. And I'm joking when I say this, but it's like, they can't go to bed at night and they can't get up during the day. And I think it's because the bacteria, this is my own theory, it gets in and messes up with the pineal gland and the melatonin pathways, and so it's hard for you to get. But Nate, like you were a huge part of this process. So tell us, walk us through putting structure and control back in Lily's life, because this wasn't easy. No, it wasn't. It was probably the most difficult thing. Getting the shots and, and the IV treatment was the easy part for Lily. But it wasn't until, like it took her probably a month before she really got on board with being committed to a schedule. And it was really at that point that I saw, like it was the turning point when, you know, we had probably two weeks into her being super steady on going to bed at a certain time, getting up, eating consistently and eating healthy, that her body was able to respond fully to the treatments. And like there was follow through in, in how she responded and her overall getting control over her health. So you guys, I love this part of it because the goal in the office is to help people, to empower them so that they make decisions. That, and, and Lily didn't know, like before when we were working with her, she's like, well, I, I'm just following what my body's telling me, which is I go to bed when I'm tired and you know I eat when I feel like it. And, and I'm like, I, I get it. Like, I know why you like that. But in order for you to get your life back, we got to put some structure in there. And, and Lily, the most important thing about the testimony I didn't even ask, like you felt horrible 18 months ago or 15 months ago where you're in pain, your stomach's a mess, brain fog, and uh, and now, like, how do you feel now? It, it's, it really has been a complete 180 in my life, and the people around me just say, Lily, I don't think I've ever seen you this happy. I'm, I've never experienced you this happy before, and it's been... It's been something that I feel like I can have some control over in my life. Like I feel like I can um, live my life to the fullest in the way that I have always wanted to live my life. And it, and I don't feel like everything's gonna fall apart if if it goes wrong. You know, I just feel like there is some stability and a, and a way out and a way to to get to where I really really want to be. So what's fascinating about that? I was just talking to one of my team members before. And she was saying, well, what about emotional health and physical health? And I'm like, they go like this. <laughs> and so when she's saying, hey, people around me are saying I'm so much happier because physically, like you're feeling better for probably the first time ever. Right? Yeah. So that being said, you're happy, you're happy, but how do you feel physically? 
physically it's been like i said night and day difference it's been like i have energy i can wake up in the morning i feel happy to wake up in the morning like i feel like my life is is just right where i want it to be and and only going up from here my my joints are so much better i can do yoga for 30 minutes without having to ice my hands after i feel like i can eat and i eat well and i crave certain foods that i didn't crave before that like just my body is just in, in alignment now it's been so incredible now i want to go back to the treatments a little bit because uh, so one like she and they made the commitment to like, put structure back in their life and and people are, sometimes they're like are you going to tell me this again i'm like look <laughs> Do the basics. Go to bed at the same time, get up at the same time, eat healthy and alive foods, um, healthy relationships, having time for you, like making sure that people don't take and add to your plate of problems, their problems. Like we walked all through that and Lily's like, hey, I got it. Now it took a little bit of time for her to like get it, but she told me she got it. But that being said, we don't do an anti-inflammatory antibiotic steroid approach. We, we just don't do that because we want to build up the body. So. We did vitamin infusion treatments, and then uh, we say it all the time, but the neural therapy is so important. So tell everybody, like, what is neural therapy and what was your experience with that? So what I understand neural to be is a resetting of the nerves, you can correct me if I'm wrong. And it was just these shots, I don't even know, can you tell me like specifically what's in them? Or? So, so it's a B vitamin, and what it does is it makes your nerve endings open, close, and reset. And it's not always the funnest thing to do. Yeah. So um, the first couple weeks of treatment, I, I had neural every single day in different parts of my body and my stomach the first week. Um, and literally within that week, I was back to eating healthy and eating normal and my stomach could handle. It was, it was so incredible to feel that. My lungs, my heart, we've done um, my spleen, my liver, you just get it everywhere. And my brain, that, that's been a huge, incredible, source to for my brain fog to to be lifted and just be so impacted for good and so with chronic health problems it's so common for the body to get a nerve memory where it keeps your body here so your mind's telling you i want to live here and you're surviving here and then the body's like well i'm just supposed to be sick like it forgets what it's like to be healthy and the neural therapy wakes it up and resets it just like rebooting a computer for having computer problems Call up tech support, tech support's gonna say, turn everything off, turn back on. That's what neural therapy does. So we did that, and then we did um, the other treatments, you know, red bed, RTMS stands for rapid transcranial magnetic therapy or stimulation therapy. It's a way to kind of massage your brain. We got you on a good supplement program. You're feeling literally 180 degrees better. And Nate, you've been able to see like, all of a sudden someone completely shift. Oh my gosh, yeah. If I could just like, make a movie of who Lily was before and how she felt and what I could witness versus now it is it's miraculous like I have I have Lily I don't have you know some sort of sickness that is holding her back like she's she's got the reins on her life now and it's it's really been one of the greatest gifts to our relationship so you guys, this is such a cool story to be of someone that was out of control. She was sick and out of control, didn't know what it was, put some structure in there, gave her the treatments to build her up, reset the nerves, massage the nervous system. The red light therapy is a way to get ATP or, or energy into the body and uh, get her on her specific nutritional program to give her the most important vitamin, which is the vitamin that she needs. And so when she talks about a, a very strict supplement program, it's like we do tests, and then we give stuff based upon those tests. And sometimes it's vitamin C, and sometimes it's B12, and sometimes it's folic acid, and sometimes it's something different like ammonium monodinate or boron or zinc. Anyway, there's all these different things. So, Lily, it's been super fun to work with you because at first um, it was like I knew we could help if she made the commitment, and she totally did. So, like, you know, she did 90% of the work, we just kind of nudged her in that direction. Um, a couple things. One is if people are watching this with the chronic health thing, what would your advice, suggestion, recommendations be? Um, I That's say, easy. Get, get here. Yeah. Like, like it'll really. be the smartest decision that you ever make for your health and for the people around you. Yeah. And Lily, if they can't get here, 
as far as like just lifestyle. So of course we want people to, yeah. to, to help people. And again, we can customize treatments that it will it'll blow your mind when you get here and we tailor medicine for you. But if they can't get here, just some takeaways because this has been such an uh, awesome thing to see. Um, how would you recommend people to take control? I would say first, if, if you feel like something's wrong, like check it out. Do not, don't sit on it. Don't wait. Don't, don't blow it off. Like trust yourself because for a long time, I just thought that's how life was. And, and it's not, life is so much better than you could ever think it is. And, um, secondly, trust the people around you. If, if they're looking to, um, you know, see that something's wrong and they want to, and want to take care of you, I would say, trust them. And, um, they, they have your best interest at heart and um, just have faith. So you guys, this is Dr. West, Lily, and Nate at the office. Um, Nate, any last minute takeaways for anybody watching this that's sick or has a loved one that's sick? I mean, because you're pretty healthy, right? Yeah. And so you're looking at the sidelines saying like, uh, you know, what would your advice as an inner circle member be to someone looking at, man, my, my sister, my wife, my cousin, my best friend is sick, what would you tell them? Yeah, I, I'd just say what I just said, like, get here. Like, create yourself, like, in some sort of conversation with the West Clinic. They will look to serve you, and they'll create some sort of opening that will provide some further light around what, you know, getting that person healthy could look like. I'd say coupled with that, like, I mean, I, I had no idea how important structure is in a person's life. Like, I... Lily would not be where she is if she didn't buckle down to a schedule and her food, like what she put in her mouth, made makes all the difference. And I would say, you know, if you can't get here, then like be disciplined in a schedule and eat the right foods at the right times and, and be disciplined with what you put in your mouth. And it's so fun to, to help people understand that because it's so misunderstood and underrated of just saying, look, like, well, let's just get control back in your system. And sometimes people will be like, no, 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 like, I want the magic treatment or magic pharma. But that's it. Like, anyway, and I don't want to be the dead horse on that. Now, it's really important for the reason why I asked you to do the interview. I want to share the message of hope and, and getting that back to people. Is it okay if I share this with my patient base and their social media platform? Yeah, of course. All right. So you guys, if you need anything, it's westcliniconline.com. Um, we're on Facebook, we're on YouTube, and there you're not your diagnosis. That's the other thing I, I told Lily multiple times. Like, you're not a person that has, like you're a person, but you're not a depressive patient. You're not a pain patient, like you're Lily. Like, and that's how it is. And so you wanna make sure that you treat people individually. And these are the kind of outcomes that, that we see all the time. And we'll see you guys on the next video. So you guys, it's uh, not rocket science, really what it was. I mean, how we helped her, again, like you've heard the story, you put um, control back into the body. And so here's the five tips. The Dr. J at five, Thursdays at five o'clock, five tips to help you. Number one, get your body on a schedule. Go to bed at the same time, get up at the same time. Now you can get away with that when you're in, as a teenager, it's easy to get away with in your 20s and your 30s, like the older that you get or the more matriculated or more mature, whatever statement you want to say, the more important it is to get um, your body, get some order. So I love it to get people to go to bed at the same time, get up at the same time. The next thing is eat healthy and alive food. Only eat food that spoils, just eat it before it spoils. And so what does that mean? Like you can put, like there's a, the story and the picture of the a fast food burger they put out on the windowsill in New York and then they photographed it every day for a couple weeks and guess what? It never changed because bugs didn't eat it. And guess what? We're just bigger bugs. So you have to be really careful with foods that have insecticides in them. And everybody will say, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> I don't eat foods that have insecticides in them. Well, you can't really sell insecticides. So what do we call them? We call them food preservatives. Food preservatives are insecticides. Foods that have a lot of insecticides are hard on our system. And, and one of my mentors that I was following, he did a post that said, you know what, if you have to read the labels for the foods that you should eat, like that's a warning sign. It's better to eat food that doesn't have labels. 
like the stuff that comes right out of your garden or the farmer's market or the grocery store that doesn't have a label like that's what you should eat. So healthy and alive foods, when you sit down to eat, you should have a rainbow of colors on your plate. Some red, some green, some yellow. And I've said this before, Skittles and Starburst don't count. It has to be plant-based material. Number three is water. Water is so underrated. It's just like putting order in your system. Water is like Tin Man, or excuse me, it's like oil for the Tin Man on the Wizard of Oz. It lubricates everything. It helps depression. It helps anxiety. It helps arthritis. It definitely helps constipation. And if your sewer system doesn't work right, then you're not working right. And literally, like so many people, they have bad sewer systems. And, and I just had a patient today that said, like, look, I've, I've had diarrhea my whole life. I'm like, well, how old are you? And she's like, well, I'm 37. And, and she said, that's normal, right? And I'm like, no, that is not normal. You're like a baby. You put food in, stuff should go out. It's, it's really that simple, but there should be some formation to the bowel movement. So get your body on a schedule. Eat healthy and alive foods. Make sure that you're getting enough water. And the next thing is stress. Now we particularly talk about stress when it comes to the pandemic that's occurring and the uncertainty that's occurring. So we had life that was hard before and now it's really, really hard. And so what you can do for stress is to make sure you have a stress outlet. This is one of the things that I'm telling people all the time in the office. Make sure that you have something on your schedule that decreases stress. And I've heard all of these different things for people to do. I've heard uh, playing the uh, musical instrument, listening to music, going on a walk, prayer, meditation, sexual relations, um, deep conversation with friends, reading a book, driving, uh, riding horses. I mean, there's all these different things. Like it's impossible for someone to define your stress outlet for you. You have to define it for you. And then what's important is you get it on your schedule. And you say, you know what, from 7.15 to 7.30 every day, or from 4 to 4.15 or 4.30, or from 1 to 2, I am doing this. And then when people ask you to do something, at that time period, you say, I got an appointment. And they'll say, well, well and especially if it's your spouse, your family, well, who do you have an appointment with? The most important person, me. This is how I control and I channel stress. Another one, my, my all-time favorite for channeling stress is a journal. I see so much benefit when people are writing down their thoughts and emotions. It connects the right side and the left side of the brain through the corpus callosum because you're trying to like write out these abstract thoughts. I think it's so good. And if you check out our live from last week about stress, like we go into that. Because stress isn't a disease, it just makes everything worse. And our guest was uh, Kevin Hall. We talked about how some people get stressed up in their shoulders and some people carry it in their low back. And, and women, it seems to be up here, and men, it seems to be more in the low back. And that's not always the case, but it's so frequent that we associate it with that. And then number five is make sure you're giving your body the right building blocks. And so many times I get people that'll ask, Dr. West, what is the most important vitamin? What is the most important mineral that I should be taking? And the smart aleck answer is the one that you need. Now, the way that you do that is you do an assessment. There's some specific blood tests that you should cover, which by the way, there's a bonus section in the, my book that we talk about. So it was an Amazon bestseller, Hidden Secrets to Curing Your Chronic Disease. I put in a right here appendix. So there's your starting blood tests. The last page, page 162, talks about hey, this is the blood test that you can start. And so you don't even have to be in the office or as a patient to, to get those blood tests. You can request those from your doctor. There's a special way that we can interpret those. We can help you from a long distance looking at not only is there a disease process happening, but there is there a deviation of optimal. Now, if you'll comment, if you're watching this live, please you know, like and share the video so that we can help people to know the, how to deal with stress and also like how you can understand you're not your disease. And just like Lily's story, like she's not her diagnosis, like there's a person in there. And if you treat the person, you really get really good outcomes. And what's also really neat is if you put hashtag daily in the comments, I'll give you a special code to get the vitamins that you need, which is this. I tell people all the time, here's what you need. You need a good multivitamin, a good multimineral. And people say, well, how do I know if what I'm taking is any good? That you notice a difference when you take it. Like if you take a multivitamin and mineral and you don't notice anything, I would argue it's probably not doing anything. 
It's really important to have an essential fatty acids. I, you know, I shoot for two to 4,000 milligrams of essential fatty acids. Vitamin D is so important as a hormone, as part of your immune system. It helps with moods and emotions. There's some more and more literature that it's thought to prevent the C word, also known as, as cancer. There's some ideas that, that it could be really a mitigating factor in that. So vitamin D, fish oil, good multivitamin, mineral. Sometimes it's nice to support the thyroid gland, but if you put supplements into your system, it ensures that you're getting all the vitamins and minerals that you need. And wh what do I mean by that? Well, the best source of vitamin and minerals is your knife and fork. Like the healthier that you eat, the healthier that you are. You wanna make sure that you're getting healthy and alive foods into your system. Making sure, I like more of a protein or fat, so either kind of a, um, a keto diet or a high protein diet. I, I see benefits in both of them, but I all agree with everybody. Like the lower that you can keep your carbs, the bit more beneficial uh, that it is. I see really good outcomes with that. I had a patient that came in that, uh, from across the state that was worried about an autoimmune disorder, and she's saying, you know what, I started this keto program two months ago, and she's doing well, and I'm like, that is so smart. High fats, moderate proteins, low carbs. Uh, on the flip side of that is high proteins, moderate fats, but low carbs. And then I like to tell people, look, just make sure you're not missing anything. Get a good multivitamin. Um, we have one here, we put it in a pack called Superhero Essentials. I made this really for me because I just wanted to pack when I was traveling. And then so many people were like, it's so handy. It has basically everything in it. It has your fats, it has your vitamin D, it has your multivitamin in it, it even has a little bit of digestive stuff in here. And for everybody watching our lives, we're so appreciative of how that you're helping us that if you'll put hashtag daily in the comments, we'll give you 15% off. We'll send you the link of what it is that you can have everything covered. So to kind of recap what we're talking about, you're not your diagnosis. The secrets to curing chronic problems or to alleviating chronic problems come from the inside for people. And, and really, it's not so much magic treatments, magic bullets, magic doctors. What it is, is going back to the fundamentals. And the fundamentals are good food, good exercise, good emotions, healthy diets, making sure that you're getting the supplements that you need, and there's a way to channel stress. So I wrote about the whole thing in my book, uh, Hidden Secrets to Curing Your Chronic Disease. There's a really cool bonus in here about what blood tests that you can figure out where you are in the spectrum of health, because if this is death and this is health, that's how people come in. They're somewhere on that pathway. We gotta figure out where you are on the pathway and then design a plan to get you the most important thing to get you balanced, and that is the thing that you need. So it's been really fun to work with people in the office. I've got some really cool shows coming up. I'm so excited to share with you other testimonials of people that are beating their disease every time. It's not just me saying it, and we've got tons of testimonials. You can see them on Daily Dose Vitamin H. Vitamin H is not a real vitamin, it stands for Vitamin Hope. So dailydosevitaminh.com. You'll see them on our Facebook page. You're gonna see it on our, our YouTube page. And so we're kind of wrapping up for this segment. I'm excited to bring in, I've got some experts coming up. I've got some testimonials of, of people that you can hear their story of people that were literally out of hope and out of time, out of options thinking, oh my gosh, I gotta go into surgery or I'm gonna be on this prescription over the rest of my life or uh, I, I can't wait to share with you one that's coming up. She said, I am dying. I just want to die and be released from this. And then how she beat disease and how she came back. So that's the Dr. West five at five, five tips, five hidden secrets to curing your chronic disease. It's the summary of the book. We also got uh, our, the supplements to make sure that you're not missing anything. And we're so excited to share with you stories of hope. And I'll see you guys on the next uh, live next week, Thursday nights, five o'clock mountain time, the Dr. J show, and we'll see you guys next week.